well, I hope this is working because I may be on my Bluetooth headset. I don't know if the voice is coming through. But check this out. We are now sitting on the side of the road after 900 plus miles. We're 10 miles from my brother's house. And I seem to have an oil problem. I have a bunch of oil in the truck that I can't get to because it's buried under all the junk in the back of the truck. Including some heavy... <sighs> Sorry, video went off. I am have oil in the back of the truck that I can't get to. I have a quart of oil in the car that I can't seem to find. And I seem to be, like, losing all the oil, like I maybe blew a head gasket or something. Continue on US 11 South for one mile. Continue with... Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my mapping thing telling me to continue when I have a blown motor, possibly. Ten miles from my destination on a 1,000-mile trip. <laughs> uh, what's that old saying? And I bet you money there's oil right here. That's automatic. That's, that's power steering to it. But I can't tell. I piled a bunch of things like oil, and there was at least probably six quarts of oil buried under the steel. <sighs> like that is tech stuff. It could be on this side. I put stuff on both sides. <sighs> yeah, I see there's all this various stuff. What we got here? Yeah, I know it's down in there. There's gear oil. <laughs> Let's see, there's uh, oil for the chainsaw, brake fluid, the brake clean, and believe it or not, my brother has to be a pain in the butt and try and overanalyze this instead of just saying, I'm gonna tell him, just bring me oil. We got 10 miles to go to his house. We get this stupid thing to his house, and then I can just call it a junkyard. Or give it away to somebody that's going to need a motor probably now. Or major work. Yeah, I see it right there. I don't know if you can see. Green. Green little jar. I don't know if you can quite see it. I can't see it on the video, but I know it's there. I see it from here, right there. And there was actually two different containers with oil that I know I put in here. And there's another quart of oil in this thing, but it's so packed full of shit, I can't find that either. Look at me, I dropped shit on the ground just trying to get it open. But there was a quart of oil I put in this because this was having an issue. Or at least I thought it was. And then of course, oops. Oh, they didn't stop this time. Somebody convinced me I should carry a quart of oil, so I bought a quart of oil. And I never used it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, at, least this, at least it's a short tow, have it towed to my brother's house and unload all this stuff. <laughs> oh, Christ, this video is getting a little convoluted. But we'll fire it back up if my brother shows the fuck up. <sighs> It's probably one quart of oil. You can see there's a little puddle under there. I don't even quite see it. That's hard for me to hold this camera. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Thousand mile trip stopped in the last 10 miles. Man, there's even tools. Look, toolbox. Oh, I'm covering up. Toolbox, welding machine, all this good stuff in here. But on oil. Can I use water? No. Be that. Would not be pretty. <laughs> At least it's not freezing freaking cold. Oh. Let's not leave the keys in the door. Oh. Son of a bitch. My brother actually convinced me to look at my damn radiator. And then I saw a puff of what looked like antifreeze. Like I had spilled some. Oh, I kind of ignored it. Okay, this is what happens when you're not thinking, right? Yeah, I cannot. Yeah, I, still see, I know that's oil down there. I don't even have gloves on load. This is some heavy shit. I don't know if it's pinned in there by shit. But yeah, that is oil right there. That's motor oil down in there. Fucking A. Son of a bitch. 
This was such a fucking load, boy. <sighs> anyway, and on top of that, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. I'm wearing a dog collar because it's got a reflector on it. I've been carrying this for years. An emergency reflector to carry around if I got to get out on the side of the road. <laughs> and I'm finally getting to use it. <laughs> oh, oh, big truck coming. Ah, oh, mother. <laughs> well, this video is already too long yet. Two full minutes. And nothing. Sometimes I tuck oil under the hood like as an emergency supply. All right, guys. Have a good one. Well, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, there is a whole bunch of steel laying there. Six inch channel and all that. Which I dug out of here, which was a nightmare, and found that blue thing with antifreeze and did it in croc shoes, of all things. If you notice there's stuff on my shoe, because one thing was in there was a five gallon thing of oil. And look at this. Is this not appropriate or what? High mileage. But it brought the oil up enough that the oil pressure came up. That being said, <laughs> will she live another 10 miles? I don't know. More to come. <laughs> Well, it appears my brother's just arrived. Even though we do have the oil in it now. Oh, he got a marker light out on his car. Oh, no, it don't. Oh, he's got a headlight out. Did you did you bring oil at all, or just you just got no, here? No, you said you had it. Okay, all right. They didn't even have a fucking funnel there either. Oh, I made a funnel. I. <laughs> That's what fucking... that shit all underneath the truck is, uh, in, that you saw. It was tiny, tiny, it was tiny, oil, tiny. It? It's probably been leaking for a while. Yeah, yeah. You it's just I checked twenty fucking miles. Yeah, I I checked it before I left, dude. It was full. So it must. I think it might be like a rear main seal or something. But I noticed when I was looking at it for the antifreeze, watch your step. There's the steel. Know, I, You're about to I, trip over I know. Over I'm going to go get my little light bulb. Here, look. Hang on. Look at it all. I just chucked it over here. Oh. Forgot there was a light on the stupid town phone. Your phone's going to die. If you I don't give that. a shit. <laughs> This is the light you gave me. Yeah. Here, let me hold that light. I did find oh, a shit. pair of gloves. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's stuff that Come over here. For... There's, follow me. There's gloves on the front. I found the gloves. Is that my light blinking? No, that's mine. There's gloves right here somewhere. Well, they were right here a minute ago. What the fuck? You put them inside the truck? Possibly. Under the hood? Maybe. Be careful of the roadside because... I know about that. There's people up here, especially this time of night. I don't know. Oh, pop the hood. Go around the other side. Go around the other side. Oh. There's right here in the middle. Right here. Straight in. Straight in. Right in the middle. Right here. Right here. And you pull it towards the center, I think. I just had the gloves out here. Maybe they're at the back of the truck. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the oil pressure here. Take that. Don't trip over that fucking steel. I don't know what the fuck I did with him. Where did, where did you stick it in the... Drop the I gate? slid them... No, no, you can't drop... Oh, no, you I can't. slid... They were slid in here. I don't think you're going to get them back in. You're going to have to stick them in the trunk of your car or something. I don't know if they're going to the Well, it. chuck them a little further down the hill so nobody sees them. We'll try and get what? back over here. They would fit in the back of the Prius if it's emptied out. This Not now. This is definitely the stuff that was... Yeah, it was angle and channel. Yeah, this is definitely Just the stuff to make it Put it down the there. Go downhill with it. I'm Hide going it. in the truck. You can't. There's stuff in the way now. Everything fell down. You can't get it. You can't get it back in. And watch. Don't whack the car. I'm not going to hit the car. Yeah, you almost did. Oh, shit. 
they were put in and then other things were put in on top. Oh, just put it in. You're gonna get some of it in, but not all. Some of it in there. That big fucker, I don't know if I need that channel. Well, there's there's a couple pieces of channel. There's another piece up. That's kind of like what you need for your base. The angle would be good framing. Just just check it down the hill a little bit so nobody sees it. We'll come out here tomorrow and hopefully it's still here. If somebody sees it, they're gonna grab it. Oh yeah. And don't whack the freaking dog. Whack you the just dog. almost whacked me. Back off. Well, you need the light. I'm gonna come around the other side. Before I don't get whacked in the head. Hang on one second. I got that big light in here. Which is almost dead, but. <laughs> Shut up, Timmy. Let me see how bright it is. Not, it's almost dead. Just load oh. that shit. Oh, shit. <coughs> there's some flat, there's an angle in this channel. And most of it's the 2 by 3 and there's, I think, a 2 by 2 but... I can't believe all the freaking vests and shit I have. I don't have one right now to put on. <laughs> well, well let's hurry up, hurry up. Looking, so. Yeah, I'm I'm watching. I'm not gonna rush and trip. No, but don't worry about don't really worry easy. about down the road right now. I can't bend over really easy. Anyway. Yeah, well, I don't want to fall, have this shit fall on my goddamn feet right now. I didn't like unloading it, but I knew that stinking oil was in there. I remember putting. There's probably another quart in there somewhere, but at least it's enough oil that's showing on the dipstick and, the, and the, the gauge, which almost pegged when I was shutting it down, uh, came right up. So it may not have blown, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, be glad it makes it to your freaking house, man. That's all I want right now. Oh, yeah, when you get there? I'm just pulling in and shutting it off no, the no, second no. I get Listen. in there. When you get there, Turn right and pull it right up next we're, to the barn. We're next to the barn? Yeah. How are we going to unhook the car? We'll do all that over there. Dude, I'm pulling in your fucking driveway. Don't not... pull in the driveway. Pull in next to the, see the barn? You, the drive barn. The, you drive the fucking van and you put it where the fuck you think it's going to. We need to unload this thing, Ken. Not tonight. I uh, know. I, uh, I ain't carrying all this. I'm not carrying this shit across the road. You're not put... listening. We'll move it tomorrow. Fine. Right now. I want it there because it's leaking oil. I got no juice left in this thing. Will you hurry up? I don't need to explain everything to you. We'll move it tomorrow. Yeah, if it moves again? It'll move. If it's on your it's side, moving. if it's on the house side of the road, all we got to do is call a tow truck and tell them to take it to the fucking junkyard. <coughs> Pull it in next to the barn. I don't even know what's over there, Ken. I don't know what your land is right like. There. That's why you should drive it. There's nothing there. I don't know what is where, anywhere. I don't know what's there. All I see is, Ken. Barn, Ken, wood. Get in the fucking right. truck and you drive it. I'll follow you in your car. No, you drive the truck. I'm not driving. Then I'm pulling in your fucking driveway. I'm not fucking around. I know what's on your on your driveway side. I'm not fucking around. Drive me fucking nothing insane. Well, it is Wednesday. And I have actually made it here. Uh, when did I make it here? Last night. Yeah. Oh. Or the day before. I'm not sure. Yeah. Tuesday. Because we dropped off the dolly on Tuesday, which was uh, literally one mile up the street from where the truck broke down. Which, luckily, it is okay. It has an oil leak repaired. But as long as you dump tons of oil in there, she is fine. And now I got to get her unloaded with the crazy dog chained up short so it won't eat me. Or Timmy. This has been a very non-magical mystery trip. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but I got to go unload this thing because it's raining. Later, folks.